Hello guys, in this video I want to make UI so we can see time of the game, like how long you're playing, we can see the score and we can see the bullets you've got. So we're going to make kind of a bullet counter. And to make a bullet counter, first we need to know the bullets on the gun. So let's go to gun controller and I'm going to increase the size and make here serialized field. Uh, actually we need public so we can get access to it. So let's do public int current bullets and public int max bullets and we're gonna try different variations of max bullets but we need to be sure that current bullets are there from the start so let's do start function and in the start i'm gonna type current bullets equals to max bullets so if we change this value it's going to be changed as well and i'm going to keep it public so we can get access to it later for ui now how this is going to work uh, let's say we have max bullets 15 by default and every time you shoot you do minus minus from bullets count right so i'm going to do current bullets minus minus and above all of that i'm going to check if we have bullets at all because if we don't have bullets we cannot shoot there is a different ways to do that and one of them could be just to check if current bullets is less or equals to zero then we do return and return means nothing of this will work nothing this so if we return from the function this code is not taken and we just do nothing after that and this is how it's going to work this will be fine and let's go and make sure it works first and then i'm going to show you something else that we can use to make it look better in the code and actually before we test that let's do reload as well let's do um maybe a private void reload reload gun and I'm not sure maybe we're going to make it public later. But as of now, let's just do current bullets equals to max bullets. And since we have this uh, function, current bullets equals to max bullets, there is no point of typing it in the start like this. So we can do reload gun from the start. All right. Good. And uh, now let's go to update over here and make another input. If input, get key down, key code R then reload gun let's go and try this first and before we continue i want to say thanks to all of my patrons and give special thanks to friendly robot skt1 mighty poppy steven and gennady chen son and retrobat gamer thanks to you guys these videos are possible uh, we can see let me switch off that zone so we won't lose the game we can see current bullets are zero and max bullet zero okay my bad let's do 15 and switch off that zone and we're gonna go to play mode now we can see inspector we have uh bullets current bullets 14 and every time i shoot the number is lower now i have two one zero and now i cannot shoot at all if i press r i've got reload and i can shoot again and i have idea on how to make reload better but we're gonna do it in the next video as of now this is okay let me show you something else i want to show you it's very nice very useful and i wish somebody would show me this when i just began i could do so much better code uh, let's do a public bool have bullets and bool can return true or false because it's a boolean and we can use it as a function to check the condition we want and do some result uh, with the check together as example check this out if current bullets is less or equals to zero means we don't have bullets at all and we return false and if this condition is not met we can return true and before we return true we're going to do current bullets minus minus now that we have this code we can go back to shoot remove this remove this and at the place we're trying to shoot we're going to just check and have bullets all right let's save this and uh, let's try it we have 15 bullets i'm shooting it works the same as it was before it's zero i cannot shoot i'm gonna reload and I can shoot again. 
So it works the same, but the idea is your pod is a bit cleaner. When you're trying to shoot, you can see you doing check for input and you check if you have bullets. And you can go inside of this function, let's do peak definition, and see what it does. It checks if you have bullets and if you have zero or less, you return false, you cannot shoot. Otherwise, you just minus minus from a bullet and you return true. And your shoot function is cleaner, now it is responsible only for shooting. Perfect. I kind of would like to end the video on this point because we did you know like five minutes of reload code and i want to do canvas okay let's just uh end this video as a reload gun functionality and then we're gonna do canvas thanks for watching rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly subscribe not to miss that check my website for more courses ask your questions in the comments below and remember we don't play games we make them